right here after. There goes the dog. Here he comes right here, Levi. Coming in right here. It's not stopping. There's another one, Levi. Oh, Levi, shoot this guy right here on top of the hill, right here. Right here, Levi, kill that one. Lights out. This week on Fox Pro Fur Takers, we're in Montana, dogging with Levi Johnson. Boat up, boat out. <laughs> Look what got him going this morning. Look what woke him up. Mr. Mouthy. I've been out here before. The action has always been great. These coyotes, when they come in here and interact with the dogs, it gets crazy. Female. Not no more. That's an older one, dude. Yeah, there's an older coyote. Wow. We heard, I don't know how many, we heard a ton of coyotes yeah. on that stand. So we got plenty of places to go after them. Yeah. yeah. It's July, middle of July. It's hot. At this time of year, it's up in the 90s. Could get in the 100s. So you're getting two to five stands in the morning. And then, of course, in the evening, you get one to two good stands. So we howled and we immediately had a coyote pop up on the, on the far hill. Oh, right there's a coyote on top of that ridge right there. Come. He's got a lot, of, a lot of stuff to get through, but he's coming. And he come right in, but the problem is it was just one of those setups. We had a crick between us, and you'll see he's jumping. He's trying to see the dogs, and the dogs can't see him. And what I should have done is I should have had us walk across that crick and got up on the little knoll that was a little bit further west. And I had him in 150 yards, but I kind of wanted to get some dog work, especially for that pup. Looking back on it, the next time we'll go across it and get on some bigger country. Kind of is what it is. You don't always have a picture perfect stand. Just duck down now. Worst part, he's gonna catch our freaking wind before we even get. I see this cow way down to my left. He was in this coolie, and me and Abner were trying to get on it and trying to get talk to see what we should do. And yeah, you know, I thought, you know what, heck with it. So I got on that Mr. Mouthy, and I just started ripping a pup to stress off. <laughs> Levi, Levi, Levi. And right here, right on my right, there's a cow just blazing in at like 45 yards. The dogs go after it and run it out through there. And we just sat tight because this is what we were here for. The dogs, the action, the coyote interaction. Levi, see, I can't, can you see it over here? You're gonna have to move then. You're gonna have to get up. You see it? Yeah, he's down here hopping around with the dogs. Maggie's on it. He ran down, probably caught our wind a little bit, but that's the beauty of dog and that's the power of the decoy dog. <laughs> The dog's clear. He ain't going anywhere. Take it right there. Shoot it. Yeah. Holy cow, you want to talk about some craziness? 
That coyote was like 50 yards when it come over that hill. Oh, that dog is completely downwind, and that's what the power of decoy dogs. I'm going to show you. That's right there. Look at this. There we go. That's what it feels like again to kill a Montana coyote. Dogging with Levi. You're watching Fur Takers right here on Outdoor Channel. Lights out. We're in Montana, dogging with Levi Johnson. Dogging with Levi is all about, one, the experience of hunting coyotes over decoy dogs. Secondly, it's helping the farmers and ranchers. You know, and these coyotes raise havoc on their calves and lambs, and anytime you can get out and help those people, it's a good cause. Plus, it helps the wildlife. You know, mule deer, antelope, uh, elk, you know, it just, just out there trying to keep these coyotes in check. And this is just another source to do it in the summer hunting over decoy dogs. In the morning, we like to locate the coyotes, so we came up on a spot, and Levi started playing coyote locator. He's over there in that flat. You know, we located and right off the bat we had one answers. Oh, he wants to play. He's yapping at us. That was right there. He said, Abner can't hit me. Abner can't hit me. Oh, I can hit him. Well, I'm gonna see if I can look find him with my B-knock. But it's right down in a hay field. I mean, he, he evidently seen us. You know, we were locating to the west. The dog's, I don't know, he might just run too. I just don't know how we're gonna get on him without him seeing us. Exactly. He's I mean, open. He's gonna yeah. watch us do whatever watch we're gonna do. Whatever we do, we're gonna. I mean, there was no way we could get on him. So rather than probably smarting him up anymore, we just, we just elected to get out of there move on, you know, completely go to a different stand, and that's what you have to do. Sometimes you have to use your head about things and, you know, and decide, you know what, I'm not going to get this cow killed right today, but if I wait a week, I bet I can get him killed. Not big enough. We want bigger coyotes, trophy coyotes. Yeah, he's a little guy. He's lonely. We want the, his granddaddy. We were walking in on a stand and Levi said, you know, the dogs are on something. My first inkling was, well, they have a pup in the, you know, in the sagebrush. Sneak over that hill and see what's going on. I was expecting to see a coyote pup or something like that hung up there in the brush. It was a big badger just staring right at copper. And for you people that don't know what badgers are, they're a grizzly bear wrapped up into a little tiny body. You know, you can't shoot them that time of year, they're a fur bear, but I wouldn't want to shoot them because if, because my, my dogs, when they see something get shot, they jump on it because that's their reward. Well, if that badger wouldn't have been quite dead when we shot it, I'd probably be taking some dogs to the vet. So we just got control of the dogs, got out of there, got away from the badger. Well, it's been an eventful morning, yeah, to say the least. It's been a fun morning, but we gotta go kill a coyote. <laughs> we'll get it done. Yeah. There's one way out there just to the right of them cows. Oh yeah, yeah I got it. Oh, here comes the male right here. He's out there 
2,000 yards. Female to fall on him, get ready. This guy is right down here at the bottom of the hill. That's a good sized male right there. Yeah, that's a nice kite. Yeah, it is. Oh yeah, it's a nice one. After you shoot it, they'll run, they'll run down and chew on it. Like a, it's the same thing as like a bird dog retrieving a pheasant. Yep, that's what happened. And that's their reward. You know, they work hard for us. Yeah, they they cover around. some ground yeah. and dog them back in, and so that's their reward. It's kind of a chew toy, but this rancher over hill here, he's just registered Angus, so he'll be happy to know that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just doing our part. takers right here on the outdoor channel getting ready to go dogging montana style levi johnson let's roll yeah so he can sit right there and you can sit right there and i'll sit in one of these foxholes and we'll sit right here set up with the call out here see what happens sun's at our back wind's kind of cutting this way Pretty good. I think it happened there, just windows or something. Yeah, I, he was probably out in that field hunting this morning and he come in and got our wind. And that cow was already downwind of us starting out and unfortunately that cow got away and probably is a little smarter because of it, but you know, that stuff happens. I've killed them though, like if the dogs get on them, they'll bring them in, you can kill them, but. I don't think Hopper ever did. He heard him, but he never did find him. He never got on him. Well, it's windy, so I think what we'll do after is it's got about a 20 mile an hour wind. This is kind of a big chopped up basin. And, yeah. And we'll get in there and they, that, they like denning in here. That'll help get us break up out of the wind too. We yeah. Just this ridge of we'll just work there. it down and keep hopscotching down okay. and hopefully we can... Pretty windy something. and the clouds are stormy, but... Maybe there's a kite that wants to come play. We called the stand, and immediately we had coyotes howling. We waited, we waited, and finally come in. There's a pair of them coming. Well, they dogged pretty decent. But then they went over the hill. The dogs brought him right back. Here comes Maggie. Behind 
behind that sage. I can't really see it. You see it, Levi? He's poking his head back and forth. She kept hiding behind the sagebrush, and I couldn't get a shot on him. Abner couldn't get a shot on him. So they finally got over the hill on us, and they were dogging. And I think they were dogging pretty good, but they were over the hill. And I think we were just right on the edge of their boundary. There's a creek that was right there, and I just don't, I mean, they were dogging, but I don't think we were enough inside their territory to really get them active. And oh, he just went down in there again. I had a shot on him once, but then Maggie was right in the way. They're a young pair that really, they're not the real dominant pair around. So they'll come in and they're mad. They want to slap you, but they're scared too because they're afraid they might get the crap beat up. Mm -hmm. So they just sit back and talk. All mouth, no action. It's mid-July, we're in Montana, and we're dogging with Levi Johnson. We're in the evening here. It's pretty hot still, but we're gonna walk through the hill here and see, look at this country, see if there's a spot where we can set up and let out some screams on that Mr. Mouthy. Hey, did you put on some sunscreen, mister? I don't want you burning that head. If you don't go out and wear a hat, you make sure and wear a sunscreen, mister. Good. Let's yeah, go look. look good when you're hunting coyotes. You, know you what do. I mean? You have a tough time doing that. But... No, look at me. Come on, <laughs> look at yourself and look at me. You've been seeing those big deep buttes. Out in all those is big deep crevice and they den. They like denning in there. So you want to get all the way over in there? Yeah, we'll just we'll just take, take our, time. our time and walk over there. It's hot, so we'll sweat. We'll sweat, but at least when we get over the hunt, it'll be better. We went to a stand that was probably picture perfect, in my opinion. Awesome looking draws and just nasty looking country. And Levi said, this is the mecca for coyotes. Hey, Levi. Yeah, I got a coyote down the bottom of this draw. It's right now, it's on top of that hill. He's a long way. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go pop Distress 3 Abner and see if we can get that old girl chalked up here. I'll try to keep an eye on her, I don't see her now. I got two, two more right here in front of us on the yeah. hill, straight in front of us, there's two of them there. They look like big pups. Those are big pups. Oh, right here in front, right here, 200 yards, guys, right here. It's coming in, oh yeah. Dogs are going after him. Behind that, no. Yep. Yeah, copper's on them. They're dogging it. They're dogging it. Come on out of there. Here comes Copper and Maggie back. You hear her howling? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're dogging. Kai's right down the hill. Yeah. You on him? No, that tree's in the way. I can't shoot. You ready? Going over the hill. Oh, right here. Right, right here. Right back where she's at. She's dead. Booyah! That is what you call dogging <laughs> with Levi. This is the second time I get to I got to hunt with Levi Johnson in Montana, and he has great dogs that he spent a lot of time training, a lot of time that he put into them to get them to be what they are. We put some fur down in the middle of July when people are in a pool or sitting at the beach, we were killing coyotes. It's fun hunting with good people, and Abner and Andrew and all the guys, Mike, everybody from Fox Pro is great people. And like I've said before and I say in my seminars, if you're not hunting with the Fox Pro, I don't know what you're doing, because uh, number one, it's made in America, and number two, it's the best call on the market, and number three, they got the best customer service in the world. That's Fox Pro Fur Takers for this week in Montana. We're out.